Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do a no makeup makeup look. I first start with my Sex Wax Chapstick from a local surf shop. I then go ahead and apply my Ole Complete Moisturizer. Then I conceal with my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in the shade Deep, and I just use this to conceal my dark acne scars and the bags under my eyes. And I go ahead and blend that out with my Morphe 439 brush. Once everything is blended, I do go in with my Fenty Beauty foundation in the shade 370. And I use that same Morphe brush to blend everything out. Once that is blended, I go in with my Maybelline Fit Me concealer and I just apply that to underneath my bags, my forehead, bridge of my nose, and my chin. And I take my LA Pro Girl Concealer in the shade Toffee and just apply that to the same places where I put that Maybelline Fit Me. And I just blend everything out. Once everything is all blended, I do take my Airspun Translucent Powder and I just apply that to all of the places where I put the concealer to give it more of a matte finish. Once that is all done, I go ahead and buff out that Translucent Powder with this brush from Real Techniques. Then I take my Maybelline Fit Me Powder in the shade 330 and this big powder brush from Real Techniques and I just go ahead and add color back to my face since that translucent powder made me look casket ready. Once that is done, I take this contour brush from Morphe, the It's My Ray Ray palette and I just use this lighter contour shade to contour my cheekbones, my forehead, and my chin. Once that is done, I take this small angled brush from Eagle Tools and I just contour the bridge of my nose. And I take this big blush brush from Eagle Tools and I add blush to my cheekbones, forehead, and chin, and also my nose. And I believe the shade of this blush from e.l.f. is called Rose. And since I'm lazy, I take that same blush color and I just apply that all over my lid. I then take this big blush brush from Real Techniques and I just blend everything out to kind of give it a seamless finish. <laughs> Once that is done, I take the It's My Ray Ray palette again and I take this angled brush from a Revolution palette I got and I highlight the higher points of my face. Once that is set, I take the small brush from Eagle Tools and I just apply that lightest highlighter shade to the inner tear ducts of my eyes so I don't look as dead. And I blend that out as well. Once that's done, I take a nearby towel and wipe off any excess makeup on my lips, reapply my chapstick, and then apply this matte lip finish in the shade Berlin from NYX. And I kind of buff it out so it looks more like a natural lip color. I take these very minimal eyebrow utensils to fill in my brows and then I go ahead and take my Estee Lauder mascara and I put about two layers on and that is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you in the next. Bye.